Wow, wow, wow. Huge score, ladies and gentlemen. And that's just this box. This box here could be worth maybe a thousand dollars. At two, I'm gonna get two hundred. I'm gonna get two, two hundred and two and a quarter. I'm gonna get two twenty-five. Two and a quarter, two twenty-five. I'm gonna get two and a quarter, two twenty-five. At two, I'm gonna get two twenty-five. Two hundred here now. Quarter, I'm gonna get two twenty-five. I'm gonna get two twenty-five. Two fifty, two fifty. I'm gonna get two fifty, sir. Two fifty. At two, I'm gonna get two fifty. I'm gonna get two hundred. I'm gonna get two fifty. Two twenty-five. Now fifty. Now fifty. I'm gonna get two fifty. Two fifty. I'm gonna get two hundred. I'm gonna get fifty. Two fifty. Two fifty. Two hundred. I'm gonna get fifty. Two 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 fifty
And make sure you go watch his videos, subscribe, like, and share. Because we love Rob. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate you guys. Yeah. Hold on. Let's see the back of your... Oh, yeah. The back of his shirt. Right there. KT Treasures. We find treasures for you guys. We're back here at this unit. I paid $225 for. And a lot of people didn't see what I saw was right back here. I showed you guys in another video. There's Tristan Rains. Right there. Look at Lionel Train stuff. And we don't know what else is going to be in here. We got so much more. Look at back here. I did find these sets right here. Last uh, last video, I think I showed you a little bit of them. And uh, we're going to start right here. See what we got in the boxes. That doesn't get empty. Oh, we got bag. One looks like all paperwork. And we oh got more paperwork. Let's see what this is. So obviously they're school stuff. So this kind of stuff you're gonna find in storage units. We don't want it. But we're gonna load it up. <laughs> Every bill they had for the last couple years, maybe longer. You need a new identity, people. Buy a storage <laughs> unit. Watch out, Shane. I almost took you out. Oh! I just ruined uh, Nana's comfort. Good thing it was in this plastic. It has a few bucks of value. Comforter. Our buddy TJ showed up. So, TJ, he wants to buy all the Natty Pine, so it's all sold to him. So, if you guys are interested in it, it's too late. He already bought it. First comes, first serve. Look at this beautiful furniture. You don't want this, do you? All right, guys, now this is the one thing that we are all confused about. It was upside down at the auction. TJ and I, we didn't know what it was. Dude, what do you think it was, TJ? I it was wasn't like really this. sure. I said, man, is that a doghouse? Is the guy trying to make some fancy doghouse? Because I was like, what? what would it be so big for? But now we realize, those are the trains. Chug right out. Hopefully. Hopefully with this unit we're going to be on the money train, making some cash, because we spent two twenty-five. We know we got some line over there. The Questions: What else is in here? Hopefully not all comforters and quilts. But nice tote. I still play the Wii, so that's how old school I am. We got two Wii games. The question we're gonna find more video game stuff in here. We got all this wood. We're gonna clean out this spot here. We're gonna start getting back over all these totes. We're gonna make some space here. This way, we're gonna stack all this wood out and see what's behind all the wood. All right, we had to get all this wood out that TJ's buying. Right here is what I saw, is why I bought the unit. Who knows what's all that? Oh, look at that right there. The operating Ferris wheel, Lionel. And I've sold tons of Lionel, but I've never sold my Ferris wheel before, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see. You know the biggest question. Look at that. It is in there. It's in there. It's a giant Ferris wheel for sure. And then look, we got more right behind there. Oh yeah. The hot air balloon ride. Who wants to take a ride? There's another one back there, man. Hold on, there's more. Shane says there's more. Oh, right there, the scrambler. I think we got a whole amusement park. Amusement park right now. And man, I'm having fun. I think we're gonna be making some money off of these. And well, let's go right here. There's a shop back there. No. Empty box. Why? No rhyme, no reason. What's this box? There's a carousel. Oh, there's something underneath this box, too. The Play World Amusement Park Swing Ride. Oh, man. Did you ever go on a swing ride, Shane? Mm, no, I've uh, seen people. Man, my one kid does not like it. The other one loves a swing ride. Me, when I was young, I liked it. But last time I went on there, I realized it's not fun getting old. It's not <laughs> fun getting old. Oh, man. And then back here 
you this. Truck extender. Extend your truck by capacity three feet. Looks like it's brand new in the box. Then we got this. Oh, that's not brand new in the box. That's called an empty box. Man, and there's Mr. Christmas Carousel down there. That's in there. So we got amusement park rides. So obviously he has this train stuff, the big train tunnel, means he must have trains! Woo -woo! Look at that. Now that's a railroad crossing sign. That looks legit, huh? I wish it was a really old one. That was an unexpected surprise. Just like this is an unexpected surprise. And man, what else are we gonna find in here? I see this is for little trains. Well, let's see what. More Christmas stuff. Oh, what's that? What's this? Is that a slot car or something? These look like little train people. These are probably cars. These are Ertl. So this guy probably had a whole like scene going on. Who knows? Well, we got all this stuff to go through. Who knows what else we're gonna find? I'm excited. Shane? I'm excited. Look at the excitement. Just, TJ's excited. I'm excited for you. He's just upset that he didn't buy this year. I understand that. I've been there. I understand what it feels like, but he got a good deal on the wood, so at least he wins in the end. So who knows what else we're gonna find. Wow, wow, wow. Huge score, ladies and gentlemen. And that's just this box. This box here could be worth maybe a thousand dollars. Who knows? And we're gonna be making so much money off this unit. Once again, two hundred and twenty-five dollars. I already sold the wood, so I made half my money back there. And then look, here's stuff up here. Right here. This is a little workbench table. That's money. What we got in here? Some kind of uh Harnesses, tools, or something, straps. So that's money. We got a little heater. And now this, it probably works because they put the, uh, this is a little tiny chipper right here. You put this on top and you just chip away. So a little electric chipper this time of year, at least 50 bucks. And then next to it, we got this. Look at this. Oh, look at this thing. Brand new. Roller. Oh, look at this. You can make a rolling table. So you can just roll the stuff right off the truck. Right in and right in the Chachi's arms. What do you think about that? That'd be awesome. You can just roll it right in. Like, woo. And we got this wire right here, which is just a table wire. Oh, it's heavier than I thought. I thought this part was attached, but it just fell off. Whew. Electric supply. It doesn't look like it's copper. And then right here. Who puts plastic over a table saw, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, we never get that. We usually get dirty, filthy, nasty. This is a Delta. It is a Delta. I think it's in really nice shape. Man, that's a nice table. Delta, good money, good brand. The Chicago Nomadic. And then right behind here, the line out stuff. Like I said, the brand new truck extender in the box. Probably a $100 bill. And right here, this, it's in there. We got metal poles, poles. Oh, those metal poles are for shelving. So we gotta load up this stuff here. Oh wait, I'm gonna go through this blue coat real quick, Shane. Why not? Oh, no way. Is that what I just saw on top? You gotta be kidding me. This, you know, might just go from unbelievable to unbelievable. Oh, I thought it was a bar. Pans, pans, pans. But there's a dowel. There's some blankets and stuff, so we'll see what else we find. Oh, right back there, Shane. I already see it. I can't wait. All right, guys, that's the box right there. I just said I saw that tote with trains in it. And man, I am excited. Look at this. Oh. Guys, this is the kind of trains we're talking about right here. The type of the trains you need a big bridge to go under. I'm not sure who makes these. These are Lionel. It could be uh, the other company. Uh, what's that called? Uh, they do the big trains. I don't have to remember right now. American Flyer? No, not American Flyer, but that's a good guess, Shane. We've had some before. The um, 
Why can't I think of one? Look at this, look at this, look at this. The car carrier. That is awesome. Look how big these trains are. And obviously that's why you had a big old tunnel. Look at the stock car down there. The tanker one. So that's two. Here's four. Six. Seven. So you could get 20 bucks a piece. We'll get more than 20. But 20 bucks a piece for these. Times seven, that's $140. Maybe a thousand out of five for eleven hundred forty dollars Making money. Plus we got tools out of this unit. We got some furniture and all this stuff to go. We got these two things I showed you guys before. We have this little brand new model. Some toys. Play sets. Maybe a price of a brand new lawnmower. Oh, look at right here. Oh, yeah. This is the kind of stuff I was hoping for when I saw Lionel Trims. Look at this. Oh, man. We just loaded in here with all kind of trucks. We got the harvesters. We got planes. There's animals in here. All kind of stuff in here. So this guy probably had a huge scene set up somewhere sometime in his life. Who knows? He probably had all kind of stuff on there. But man. Another tote, all money. Oh, that's pretty cool. Mighty Wheels construction vehicle, 1998. That's a tough piece right there. Man, I would put this in the truck with Chachi, you'll probably start playing with it. Right, Chachi? Nice piece. So, man, we're finding toys, we're finding trains, and we got so much more. Let's go through this tote right here. Comforter and some pillows. Nothing too great. All right. Oh yes, that's the company I was thinking of. L G B Lehman. These guys also make big trains. It says blocks on there, but I'm trying not to rip it open. pump. Man, these are kind of, you just don't know where you're going to find. This says Highway Flasher, Lionel Sound Activators. Here's some brand new rope lighting. What's in here? Two thousand seven. He paid eight bucks a piece for them. He had ten of them. Unbelievable. Well, let's see here. I'm gonna be creative. I'm gonna use this. Let's open this box. Always think out the side of the box like that. Oh, if you don't break that way, put this way. Let's see what's in here. It says blocks. What's blocks mean? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's taped on this side too. This guy taped the heck out of it. If you want anybody to get in this one, this is probably the best thing in the whole unit. Are you Shane? Gold bars. Gold bars. Oh my gosh. It's all different signals. Some of those look old. Maybe we'll find some old trains in here, Shane. Because this is these are old metal ones. Lionel Corp. Wow. Man, I'm getting excited. So we're finding trains, cars, trains, cars. Furniture, all the stuff still to go through. Let's see what else we find. So much fun. I love these type of units, and I love when there's so much more to go through. I see tote, 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 box, tote, Walmart box. Let's see what's up here. 
Ooh, it's heavy. It's heavy. Oh, man, it's heavy right now. What could be in here? What the heck is this? Holy smoke, I have no clue. So some kind of oxygen machine and stuff. Automotive systems. Chainsaw between. This is like a whole hodgepodge of stuff. These are the kind of boxes you just don't know where you're gonna find in them. All this stuff, what is this? your tool stuff. Man, it's heavy. I don't know why it's so heavy. I guess it's woods in there. Wire, all kind of different wire, all kind of nuts and bolts. Huh. Hodgepodge. Empty box. And a baby man. All right, $225 unit. Already made half of my money back. And that was just from selling the wood over there. So. Well, cooler. Yeah, we sell this time of year, and we got some uh, forks and napkins. Ready to go for a picnic? Heck yeah. Looks like I got chewed up. Ooh, there it is. So I see a little crack there, but it's better than no cooler. It's got wheels. It's got wheels. All right. Look at this big old mama box. What we got in here? <laughs> Dinner plates? Is that really what's in there? Oh, I guess it is. We got some dinner plates. And that, that's a weird tote. Take that to the picnic. Take it to the picnic. All right. Oh, that's box is heavy. Maybe there's a lot more in there, Shane. Oh. It's taped up. It's taped up, Shane. You put a lot of jewelry in there. I hope so. As long as it's full of some money, because we like to make some money, it won't be funny. Oh, no way. Is that what I think it is? Is that what I think it is? Oh, money, 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 money. Woo! Ding, 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 ding. Who's the champion? Yeah, baby! Hey, Shane. For the camera. All right. Look at this. This one's just loaded. And these are the boxes. Let's just take out one box here. See, why can't these ever be the boxes you get on the unboxing challenges? <laughs> Chesapeake, Ohio. K line, ladies and gentlemen. Brand new. And I see Lionel down there. Look down there. Those are Lionel boxes. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this thing. So who knows? I mean, right here, we'll pull out a couple more things. I can't pull it out. There's a, say, a Lionel train. It's usually set right on the side where it is, but of course, this one, the sticker's missing, so we're going to open it up. Open it, Shane. Look at that. Lionel8632. Look it up right now, ladies and gentlemen. Crispy. I'm going to guess minimum $100, up to $300. Bucks. And in the original box. And the only thing I see is this box right here is a thousand dollar box, right? This ain't in here. Look down here. Trains and there's just trains. There's Lionels underneath here. So we got two boxes loaded with trains. Still got all this stuff to go. Two hundred twenty-five dollars. Starting to turn into two thousand, maybe three, four. Who knows? Let's keep going. Guys, that's why I love my job. This is why I do what I do. I buy stuff, but you can't just buy everything. But this was a live auction. If it wasn't a live auction, no one would ever know there's trains in here. 
but I got to see that little peek over the tools, very right behind the wood, and I saw the Lionel Orange box, and Lionel Orange is money green to me, and I've made so much money with trains. If you guys have been watching my videos, Shane says, for some reason, I got a magnet for trains. They, like, love to find me, so I don't know what it is, but I'll take them because every time I get them, man, they sell great at auction. Got another little cooler here. It's got a cool little cooler. So put the cans all the way in the bottom, tough. This looks like a TV. Oh. Rent-a-Center? They stole it from Rent-a-Center? Got a little patio umbrella. Oh, yeah. Holy smoke, that's a TV. Woo. Some old TVs are worth money, but I don't think this is. Okay. You got train stuff. This stuff is like... Building up stuff. Another show right here. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, money, money, money. You ready, Gene? All right. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, man. It's like holding gold bar, Shane. We got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh wow. Oh look at this one. Looks cool. I don't know what the size is. Oh. Tropicana. Tropicana. Oh man, the graphics on the side. See these little doors are open and stuff. I don't want to break it. I don't know. Too savvy on it, but I know they have different functions and things and we got Gerber baby right there. So very cool. Definitely money. Another tote. Might even not a thousand dollar one, but a couple hundred at least. Man, I can't wait to see what's in these other totes, these other boxes. So let's move this stuff out of our way. Let's see what charger we find next. I just feel like I'm riding the money train today, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful day here. Wherever the heck I am. Oh, this is heavy. Woo! All right, coming your way. What's in this heavy old tote? Hey, there we go. Utensils. You know what this is called? It's, a plate. it's not really a plate, it's called a charger. And a lot of times in fancy restaurants they'll put this down and then they put the plate on top of this. This way you don't get the tablecloth dirty. What's the tablecloth for? It's another story. That is a dirty, <laughs> dirty bowl. Oh look at so nasty though. Too bad it has all the lids on top. This whole thing is probably full of bowls and we always like to see when's the newspaper wrapped up, right Shane? That's the number one question. What year do you think? Uh, 2012. 11. 2011, right here. June 13th. It was a good day. So, look at why would you wrap metal like that? I don't know. I mean, this would make sense. I wrap so much stuff, ladies and gentlemen. So I can clean up. This miscellaneous china. There's no rhyme or reason in this thing. I think this is a plastic. I wrapped it like three times. So, hey, we got some household. You gotta get that. Oh, it's heavy. It must be like all glass on the bottom. Yep, I see wine glasses and. Disney glasses. It's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. But you always gotta look, because sometimes in the paper they'll put like jewelry I found before and things, so. Oh man, what's in this giant box, Shane? Oh! was a Christmas tree at first. It's a brand new cabinet. My wife wants some brand new cabinets, I don't think she wants this one. <laughs> <laughs> Just change the one. Comforters, pillowcases. Whoa, metal stand down, metal stand down. Ooh, interesting bag. Now we got some older paper, Shane. 72. 62. 200 Fleet Westlake Hotel Fire. I don't even know about the Westlake Hotel Fire. 
So I actually heard it was 201 that fled. Oh well, you might have to go back and get a retort in the. So look at this stuff. Cleveland Press, 62. This whole thing looks like it's full of old papers. Hopefully it has some something else in here, but sometimes you'll find stuff for like military and advertising. You could find stamps in here, coins. You could find money. Tickets, I found tickets before for like Indians and Browns championships and stuff. So who knows, I have to go through all of this stuff here. This is some old paper right here. 1950. And a bag like this might have a little hidden gem in there. What's this? Nothing. High school diploma. 1965. Could be a treasure map. 1956. Mr. Ben Clayson departed to life Saturday. Oh. So someone writing a letter about someone that passed away. The herbal catalog. Alright. So we got old newspapers. What else is in here? It says crystal box. Is there really crystal in here or just. <laughs> oh, the converter boxes. And these are actually worth money nowadays. They used to not be. Got some utensils in here. Tape measure, but where's the crystal? Maybe this is it. That's plastic. So, no crystal. We got two totes, a box, a tote, and we still got a box over there, Shane. We're going on top. Oh. How many comforters do you need? This is like our eighth comforter we found. Power plant. Unfortunately, not a lot of money. We can find some more trains, more collectibles, more bedding material. <laughs> Here we go. Dora. Because it's Dora, Dora, Dora. It's Dora. <laughs> You remember boots, don't you? I do. I knew you knew boots. I knew a shame. No, about Diego. Diego! Oh. Oh. What is this? Let's see, we got a bunch of tapes in here. And huh. paper. And some nasty pillows. Just never know. Well we gotta move this stuff out of the way. We got those two totes in another box. Let's see if we find something else. You guys, I know we got this box over here. Oh, it's heavy. It says cars. We'll look at that in a minute. And, uh, I don't know. Oh, look at here. Here's some train track, finally. I was like, man, there should be a whole box full of train track. You would think with all these trains, right? I mean, I'll take the trains over track any day, but it's not much track right here. So where is all the track? Where's all the track, Shane? Maybe it's underneath. Ready? Come on. Is the tote full of track? Or a treasure? Or trash? You decide. Ooh, is it something wrapped up in a blanket? Or is it just another comforter? So they got a whole tote for one comforter, ladies and gentlemen. You explain it. I'm gonna go to the back one first. Oh, that one's oh, taped up. 
taped up good, Shane. They don't want anyone to get to the jewelry. The gold coins. The ammunition. Or the comforters. I never seen people like comforters so much in my life. Holy comforters. Holy comforters. Okay. Whoa, that's a different story. We don't got comforters. You guys, we got to check out that other last box. Well, who knows what's in that. Once again, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Sit back. Relax. Toast. We appreciate everyone watching. And the best thing you can actually buy this stuff, secondsense.com, www.secondsense.com. We'll be going. Look at all the stuff with trains will be coming up. What is this? A candle holder, really? It's metal. You gotta wrap it twice. These people are crazy. Hey. So maybe that's why they lost the unit. Let's check the box. Cars. I'm trying to use this thing. A new way to open boxes. Watch this. Maybe that's the best way. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Look at these cars in there. Ooh, some Hennessy. That's empty, sorry, Chachi. It's a Jada. Break it, but that's pretty cool. We got a bunch of cars in there, guys. Dodge. There's one, two, three. Look at that on them. Four, five. And these are all heavy metal die cast. You know, I usually get 10 to 20 bucks a piece for these. So we got two, four, six. So 60 to another $120, ladies and gentlemen. Thousand dollar box, probably another thousand dollar box, probably a couple hundred dollar tote. Unbelievable. So, gonna make a lot of money on this unit. Appreciate everybody watching. Once again, if you guys think about buying a storage unit, buy it. So, buy smart, make sure you have the space to move it and a way to sell it. That's the hardest part selling it. Buying, it's easy. Trust me, you can buy every day of the week. And subscribe, learn something, see something, enjoy, have fun, check out our other videos. And check out www.secondsense.com. Maybe you'll find something you want to buy. Have a great day. All right, guys, look at the store price tag right there. $199. And then marked down to $169 for the Scrambler. Man, so much fun. I can't wait to make some money on these pieces. But, whew, this one, someone was asking $200 for it. Probably get at least that, maybe more. The truck is packed, it's stacked, and all that. All right, guys, we swept out this room. It's all done. Units empty, cleaned. We left the wood here for the guy that bought all the wood. Yep, that's a lot of wood. But I've known him for years, gave him a good deal, and we don't have to move it. So I have it to win, win, win. So we're out of here.